hello hello <laughs> i'm indigo welcome back to another video today it is nighttime. <laughs> i have to sleep um but today i am going to be starting to lay down plants for the village i, I did a lot of um off camera grinding <laughs> as you can see uh, i went under the caves got a bunch of resources i got some deep slate which is like the best block in the entire game and some tough, and I, I just I just got a lot of things. I got three diamonds, and I was told by I'm not gonna name who you know who you are to name my first diamond pickaxe off camera grinding if I didn't show getting the diamonds on camera. So yes, this is my pickaxe. Um, I'm probably gonna have to enchant it and go get some obsidian, which I think I have. I mean, I could also just make it using dripstone. But I got a ton of sandstone, doing a little bit of off-camera work this morning, so I can start laying down some plans. Hopefully it's enough. I'm just going to be doing, like, floor outlines today. I don't know if I'll start building the buildings, because it'll take a while. And a lot of resources. Also, my house looks a little different. Um, I think it was two days ago or so. It's been a couple days since the last episode. Um, I changed up my farms and, like, changed the way they looked. I added some leaves around them, now I only have carrots and wheats around, because, I don't know, it just looks better. We've got some banners, some rose bushes, and some horsies. Very slow horses, except for that one. That one's very fast. But yeah, we got some nice horses. I saw this solid black horse, and I was like, I have to tame that one. Are you, are you still a baby? Wait, for real? No way. Oh, he is a little bit smaller. I want to tame that brown one, because he's, like, super fast. <laughs> Again, hopefully the clips don't, like, skip around like they did before. I I still don't know why that's happening. It seemed like it happened a lot less in the, the other video, the second one. But I think it was just when I uploaded the clips to Share Factory, there was, like, an hour of footage that I had crammed together, and maybe it, like, skipped no. through certain parts just to fit all of it, so I'm gonna try to only add a couple clips at a time and then trim through it to make sure that there's no skips. But yeah. Guess what, Jimmy? I'm gonna work on your new home. Are you excited? J Jimmy? Can you hear me? Jimmy? Sir? We're just gonna leave him be. He's still struggling with his, um, addiction and anxiety and stuff. Anyways, <laughs> let's go check on Steve, see what he thinks about new homes and, you know, how his home currently is and all that. Hey, Steve, how you doing, buddy? How you doing? Oh, are you giving me the silent treatment? Wait, where is he going? Steve, how dare you? You are giving me the silent treatment. You little dick. Well, never mind then. I don't want to. I don't want your opinion on the new houses. I don't care. Anyways, <laughs> I should probably just get started into planning the village and get that all set up. I gotta get rid of all this grass though, because it's kind of in the way. I think we can start with the building right here. Probably a really simple one. I think I said that I wanted the inn to be kind of tucked away in this little valley right here. Because, you know, it's just kind of perfect. It's protected on one side. If anything tries to come and kill you, it's going to fall off the cliff. Trim this back a bit. And then, yeah. It's gonna look a little weird using sandstone houses and like this dirt area, but I think I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to just... Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna have to make it work. Because my- so... I think we can get away with a minor L-shape house. Pretty decent size though, because this is gonna hold all their beds. So it needs to be pretty big the double wide door because villagers are stupid 
And yeah, I think that's a pretty decent size for them. We could put some beds back here, and then all the rest all on the inside. And that is the inn. I'm just gonna have to remember without signs, because, yeah. Okay, that's the inn. I think maybe right here we could have a cleric. Yeah, we can have a cleric right here. So he's got like his own little tavern up on top of the hill. He's right next to the inn. You know, it kind of makes sense. It would also make sense to have the tavern up like on the second floor of the inn, but villagers don't exactly understand stairs and they tend to fall off of them a lot. <laughs> I mean, I can't talk shit. I, I do the same thing. Let's put you away so I don't, so I don't um, accidentally use you. Okay. I don't particularly like the terrain over here. Terraforming is definitely in order. Okay. <coughs> oh wait, excuse me. I guess we can have a back exit. My only good controller is currently charging because I used it all day yesterday and it died. So now I'm using one of the controllers that drifts and is glitchy and stuff. But hey, I mean, it gets the job done. Is that too big for a tavern? I feel like that's kind of too big. Like that's like the same size as the inn, but it's a tavern. I don't know. I'm definitely going to try to do interiors, so maybe it's okay. I don't really want an exit right there. <coughs> We could probably put someone in this little corner. Maybe like a shepherd. Put like a little shepherd's house right here. Off of the inn, you know, selling some clothes. Just making his wares, you know, he's just doing his own thing. Yeah, I think we can do a shepherd's house right there and it just kind of like cuts into the mountain a little bit. Maybe it only goes back here. Yeah, okay, I kind of like that. Now we have the tavern, shepherd, inn. I'm planning on having every single villager, so we're going to need a building for all of them. Maybe next to the tavern on a slightly lower angle. Oh my gosh, I miss diamond tools. This is so slow. Oh crap, that's not what I wanted. Maybe right next to the tavern we can have like the bakery or something? It kind of disrupts the city center, but I'm gonna change that anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We could put a bakery up along the side of the tavern. I kind of want to make the buildings super cramped and like close together so that way the villagers can't like, escape, really? There aren't many gaps that I could lose them in and worry about them dying in. We could have the bakery. Ooh, I don't want too irregular of a shape. I think I'm gonna have to tear down this well as well. Just because it's kind of in the way. And I think I already started tearing it down. No, that's just how it is. Okay. So we have the back right there where they're gonna be working. Again, I feel like this is a bit too big for a bakery, but it's it's okay. I've also never really built on diagonals, so we're going to see how this kind of works out. Ooh, that's perfect. An entrance right there. Or maybe not. Maybe it does work. I don't know. I can hear my own breathing in the mic echo, and I really hate it. It's super <laughs> creepy. It's creeping me out. Oh, I only have three stacks left. That's not good. Controller, please. Thank you. But... What would be good next to a bakery? Butcher. Butcher shop. I heard him again. God damn it. I don't have any emeralds. And every time I hear those guys... <laughs> it pisses me off. Because I can't buy anything from them. Okay. Just a very tiny, tiny little thing. 
we let's be honest here, I don't think anybody actually trades with butchers. Yeah. Really tiny oh that's very small actually. Maybe we, maybe we make it a little bit bigger. Oh crap, it's nighttime. Eh. Yeah, this terrain is really just not great. <laughs> The terrain on the other side of this mountain that I'm living on is much better. With the rivers and stuff. I'm definitely going to build something over there. I don't know what, but something nice. Also, yeah, I have a little bit of an interior now. I got some blue dye from cornflowers and just made a few rugs, because the interior was looking a little, um... It was looking a little barren and kind of boring, so I added some, like, curtains and a rug there, because I got tired of just looking at sandstone. I mean, who wouldn't? It's it's kind of a bit of a boring block. It's a lovely block, but when you're surrounded by it, it's kind of just... it, it gets old. I'm definitely gonna have to tear down that building right there, but I'm gonna have to carefully do it because there's a villager inside of it. But I might... I don't know. I, I still have to figure out a lot of stuff for this village. It's a bit of a mess right now. Oh yeah. It's barely 7 a.m. when I'm recording this because I don't sleep like at all and I woke up at 6 a.m. to start playing and recording and stuff. But yeah, hopefully this video is up by like 9 a.m. after editing and all that. I still don't know why clips are skipping. If they're skipping in this one too, I'm so sorry. Like I said, I'm gonna have to try to compact it and make things look a little different. Okay, so I kind of like where this is going, we have like three buildings kind of on different levels. That adds a bit of story kind of to it. It adds more flow. So like it goes down and then back up and then down and then in a circle. So basically the building Ooh, that sounded kind of gross. <laughs> basically the buildings themselves are the wall. I don't really have to build a wall around them like I did in Summerton and Wee World. I can just use the building's natural shapes to be the wall themselves and keep the villagers safe and oh hey bud and keep myself safe from monsters and stuff you have nothing of interest there was a wandering trader that spawned with small drip leaf and i was absolutely hurting inside i was crying on the inside because i didn't have emeralds and i really really love small drip leaf it is one of the most beautiful blocks in the entire update <laughs> bushes, of course. I love the azalea bushes. And I found out that <laughs> Bedrock Edition doesn't get candles until 1.18, and I was incredibly upset about that, because I was really looking forward to using candles in, like, my creative world with Sundrop. Instead of using sea pickles, I could actually use legit candles that would look amazing, because they just look so lovely, and now that I don't get to use them, it's a bit, it's a bit sad. It makes me a bit upset. Okay. I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to save a clip right now and then hopefully it doesn't skip as much. Hopefully. I don't know. Okay, hopefully that's hopefully that's good. Okay. Maybe off of this guy. Okay, so this is bakery, butcher shop. I could put maybe the blacksmith. Maybe the blacksmith can go off with this guy. Just because somebody has to give the butcher his tools. Did I just hear a pillager noise? Hopefully not. <laughs> I do not want to deal with those guys. I am not equipped enough to deal with pillagers right now. Ooh, that's a bit of an awkward uh, shape right there. I have to change that. I don't really want it to just be a square, but... Maybe we can just put his, like, little furnace off to the side here. Oops. I think in the blacksmith we can have the toolsmith and the actual... Maybe the, the toolsmith, the armorer, and the weaponsmith can all share a space because they're kind of all in the same area anyway, and a blacksmith would basically be working with all of that. They would be crafting armor, tools, weapons, everything, so we might as well just put them all in this tiny little space. That's blacksmith, armor, toolsmith, with a little furnace. I think we have the path going right here. 
and then down on this side we can maybe have the fisherman which of course I'm not going to trade with so he's just going to get a little shack run him low on sandstone but he's just going to get a little shack right here you know just enough to pay the bills and uh, keep his business going and we're going to have one fisherman because they're kind of annoying I think I want the library to be maybe on the other side of the tavern Kind of. I don't know, because I don't like this weird, like, split path where it just kind of... Ugh. Like, that's, that's really not. And I don't like that at all. But I feel like that might be too cramped. <sighs> choices, choices. But like I said, I really, really don't want them to be able to escape. So... What are you doing, crackhead? I'm being loud. She must be bored. I don't blame her. Maybe if we take the entrance of that back a little bit, then we can put the library up along this edge. Okay, yeah, that kind of works. Oh, I can't reach it, seriously. I know, I'm so sorry. Your life is so difficult, really, truly. The worst. It's gonna be a little weird, <laughs> I'm gonna admit. It's, it's a little weird. I'm gonna probably just tear the terrain down a bit. It's gonna be very hard to build a roof on this thing, but that's okay. Maybe we move the entrance to the tavern as well. More on the edge. Because, like, librarians are kind of really important to me in my Minecraft worlds. So I love using librarians. Okay. I think that's good. Sweet. Okay. Library is on a bit of an awkward angle. It's a bit of a different elevation, but I kind of like that. I'm going to have to do quite a bit of terraforming. Cut off poor Steve from the rest of his village, which is currently only Jimmy. I'm actually going to get name tags and name them from fishing because I have tons of string for cleaning up this dookie hole <laughs> of a village trying to cut down on the cussing. My mom doesn't like it. I like it. I don't care about cussing. I love cussing. It's fun. And it just it just flows sometimes, you know? Like sometimes you just gotta let out a good old a good old F bomb. Oh, that's gonna anger some certain people, but I don't have a hoe on me to fix it. So rest in peace, Carrot. Okay. I think that's good for right now, just like to start planning out the village. Only a few buildings, but that's good enough. I don't really use all of the villagers. It's more of a... It's not really my thing. I don't know, I don't know, man. I'm trying to remember all of the villagers. Maybe we could have a cartographer up along this edge. And I'm basically running out of sandstone at this point. It's almost gone. I know, Jimmy. I know you're struggling, man, but you just need to hang in there, okay? Seriously. Okay. And the path cuts across right here, which I'm obviously going to make a million times better. Cartographer... Um, I'm trying to remember all of the villager occupations. We need a stonemason. So we'll put him right here. Along this edge. Ooh, that's going to make the path really narrow, but it's just going to have to work. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Can you not? <sighs> oh, I'm so tired. Alrighty. Sir, you control your llamas over there, okay? You and your rip-offs and crap that I can't even afford. Alright. No, I don't have anything for you. I know you're talking to me. I'm sorry. Eh. Eh. 
I'm gonna have to use- Stop growling at me, Jimmy. We talked about this. I'm basically gonna have to get a whole other, basically. Inventory's worth sandstone again. Which is great. Real great. I mean, I only had like six stacks and I was barely mining for like 30 minutes. But still, it's frustrating. <sighs> okay. I think that's enough village planning for today. That was basically all I actually had planned for this episode was to do some planning on the village and just get some buildings laid out so I have more of like a mental image of what I was planning. I'm gonna have to, like I said, get a shit ton more sand and sandstone, but I mean there's a whole desert full of it, so I think we're good. Like I think we're set, you know, I don't think we're ever gonna run out of it. I just need to- thank you. I'm gonna rest my tiny little head. My tiny little head! <laughs> okay. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> there was literally no point in me doing that. Okay. Let me get a good... sort of like, more aerial view of the village. Ooh, okay. That's actually a pretty decent view. I can't really get any better view. That's actually, that's actually like exactly what I was going for. I, I probably should have used that space back there, but eh, it's okay. That's a pretty decent sized village. I mean, it goes in a circle. They're like protected. I think I'm gonna get rid of that farm just cause I need to put another building there. And I think I mean, I think that's actually a pretty decent sized village. I know I definitely didn't get all the villagers, like the leather worker. But I mean, that's pretty good. And I, I'll only have to build like a, a wall type entrance like over there for me to be able to get into the village. But I mean, I can just jump down from the cliff. But if I can jump down, then monsters can jump down. And that's a problem. I'm definitely gonna have to rework all the nasty ass paths move the animals probably up into my little fortress up here just because i don't want to have to keep climbing up and down the mountain just to collect them don't know what i'm gonna do with jimmy and steve yet i need a brewing stand potions of weakness blaze rods nether portal which would entail me using my precious off-camera grinding pickaxe i did find a huge huge cave system while i was strip mining Oh yeah, I made a strip mine. <laughs> God, I did so much off camera. Like, I don't know if you guys are going to be mad at me for that, but I have a whole ass strip mine that goes all the way down to bedrock and two separate branch mines on diamond level. And I only found three diamonds in the amount of mining I did, which was a lot, by the way. Incredibly frustrating. See, look, I have one going this way, and then I have one going this way. And out of that, all I got was this. The, both mines on diamond level and caving there was only three diamonds that's some bullshit the first enchantment i'm gonna have to get is definitely gonna be fortune three because i need diamonds <sighs> like a cow needs grass that was a terrible freaking simile but i do not give a shit yeah this is my strip mine i missed some redstone right there but i'm not gonna be doing much redstone farming yet. This is the most beautiful block in all of Minecraft. I'm just gonna say it. It's amazing. I love freaking deep slate tiles and cobble deep slate and just all deep slate. It's amazing. It's it's, it's just lovely. It's, it's beautiful. Even the bottom texture, which is a little wonky, is still very nice. It's very nice. Still haven't found a geode, which I wanted to find. I want to find a geode because I want to use the crystals and make some tinted glass and stuff, but at all in this world, I haven't found any more diamonds. I barely have any iron. I didn't find a geode. Shut the fuck up. I didn't find a geode. I, sp I spawned on an island, and the first village I found was an abandoned village with only two villagers in it. Only two. That was it. No other ones. There, there weren't any more. Just, just Jimmy and Steve. Those are the OGs. Anybody who says that there was another villager that I may or may not have killed with a wooden axe is wrong. 
So I had to kill him for it. You're wrong. Okay, I'm right. I remember. There were no other villagers. Okay. Okay. I'm glad that we... I'm glad that we figured that out. I don't even know what the purpose of me showing you the strip mine was. I just got reminded of it, and I figured that y'all should see it. It's not very impressive, <laughs> like, at all. Okay, so we planned some villages. What? No. We plan. <laughs> I can't. We made plans for the village. There we go. <laughs> some houses, some simple stuff. And I think what we're due for is some ocean exploration, because I want moss blocks and the only way i can get them currently is by exploring meaning i have to go into the scary ocean with my dumbass klutz self and find me some moss blocks without drowning which means my precious diamond pickaxe is gonna need to i cannot bring that with me let's do it I think we head off in this direction, and hopefully not get lost. Which means I'm gonna have to remember my coordinates, which I won't, because I have no memory at all. This is gonna be quite the adventure. My ADD fucking dementia ass self is gonna have so much fun getting lost. I don't think I saw any shipwrecks on my way here. If I did, I don't remember them, of course. Why would I remember them? But we're just Oh, glow like it can go underwater? I did not know that. Ooh. That's definitely gonna change the way that I terraform lakes and stuff now. <gasps> glow squiddy! I see you, man. I saw him. Wait. Where'd he go? Did I imagine it? I swear I saw- I just saw a glow squid. I did. Where did he go? Maybe it's just a glitch or something. There's a regular squid. Oh, hi, dolphin. Any shipwrecks? Any at all? I think there's one over here. I just need, like, three because we all know that, you know, three is the lucky one. So, I just need some moss block. All I need is one, and then I can use bone meal get myself some really pretty azalea bushes and stuff. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a shipwreck. I wish it was in more shallow water, but I mean, we're just gonna have to deal with it. And this one doesn't look like it has chests in it. Crap. Uh, dang it. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to hope that I don't drown. Okay. Get, let me in, let, let me in. Oh. Of course we didn't get lucky. Ow! Oh, hell no! Oh, hell no! You get the fuck away from me, bitch! You get the F-U-C-K away from my little butt. Throwing tridents at me and crap. The fuck you think you doing, huh? I hope you hit a dolphin and it kills your ass. Fucking douche. Fucking rude. That was rude. I'm gonna leave you a bad Yelp review. Douches. Whoever's idea it was to make drowned and trident wheeling drowned a thing, I hate you. I love you, but I hate you. Because they suck. Now that they don't drop gold, it's even worse. Because that was the only good thing that they did, was drop gold. <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> I'm a little heated now. Because I didn't find a moss block and I got attacked. Seriously, where the hell are all the shipwrecks. I'm surrounded by this much ocean and not a single fucking one and I just went in a circle. I can't. I cannot. Let's just stay along the coast and try to find one. The ones that are really fun to explore are the ones that are like completely intact and like above water because those ones are cool. Those ones actually are like busted. <gasps> Bunnies. I can't get bundles yet, but once I do, you y'all are dead. Y'all are y'all are mine. Your your little tiny rabbit asses are mine, okay? 
as much as I love bunnies in real life, the ones in Minecraft are annoying. They're little satanic beings, and I wish them death. And they will get death. Just not right now, because there's no point in killing them. <sighs> Bro. My luck is absolute dog shit in this world. Like, seriously. I even saw an axolotl while I was doing some off-camera mining, and the poor thing fell into lava and died. That was probably the saddest experience I've ever had in Minecraft, having to witness that cute little fucker die. It broke my heart. It really did. Like, it, like it hurt. Because <laughs> they're so cute. And it was a white one, too. Which is supposedly, like, the rarest one. It hurt. It hurt a lot to have to see him die. I- Oh! Wait, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? <gasps> oh! My go- Are you seriously kidding me? <gasps> oh my- can this happen? What? Oh my god. Holy crap. The I What? Oh that sound. Oh my god. Oh, this is the most beautiful block in the game. Oh, this is just... Oh my goodness. I'm leaving this one intact. This is just... Wow. Perfectly submerged underwater. I thought it was a shipwreck. No, it was a geode. What kind of luck do I have to... That is amazing. That is absolutely incredible. Holy crap. Oh my god. I just... Wow. Wow. That's awesome as fuck. Like, my base is just over that way, and there's one right here, and I just... Wow. <laughs> That's all I can say is wow. That is amazing. I need to get back home before I die. But that is... Wow. <laughs> I never expected to see one of them underwater. I didn't know that they could spawn completely above the water. I mean, that's a pretty tiny one, but, like, that's a major find. I didn't find a shipwreck today, but I found a geode, and that's probably even better. That's absolutely incredible. That's amazing. I'm, I'm content with life as of today. I found an ocean geode. I'm proud to say that I might be the first one who's found a completely submerged geode that it was hollow on the inside and no water on the inside underwater above ground i am proud to say that i'm the first one to ever find and experience that in minecraft and where the fuck is my house where is my house oh no oh dear oh shit i think i'm lost great okay well <laughs> Well, uh, that's, uh, that's not good. <clears throat> Editor me, make it look like I, I didn't get lost, and that I totally knew where I was going the entire time, and that I'm gonna be in my house uh, right now. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, so many mobs. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Make it look like I made it home safely, please. <laughs> running away, running away. I do not fight. Editor me, you better be making this look epic. I better look like a hero and I'm not just running away from all these scary moms. Make me look awesome. Okay, I have to look incredible for my viewers because if I don't, then they're not going to want to watch my videos anymore. And I have to look awesome, okay? I have to look amazing. I have to look like a professional Minecrafter that knows how to parkour and has totally beat the Enter Dragon and is not freaking out right now because I'm not at home and I'm not safe. I uh, I'm running out of bread. Okay, maybe if we just, maybe if we just calm down, we'll get home safe. My sword is basically broken. Oh, it's all going wrong. 
It is all, oh my god, golden clad freaking skeleton. Remember, I have to look epic during this montage, okay, of me running home. I, I have to look fearless. Where in the hell is my house? Oh my god, this is, this is terrible. This is, okay, I think it's up on that mountain. Just, I just, I gotta, I can do this, okay? I am brave. I am strong. I think my house is over this way. We found a geode, and I won't remember where it is, and I'll find it again in another episode. And be like, have I found this before? And you guys in the comments are gonna be like, yes, dumb dumb, you found it before. Shut the fuck up. And drink your goddamn coffee, because you need it. Oh my god, where? Oh no. Oh no, that's not my house. Oh, Jesus. This is so not good. I see you over there. Where's my house? <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna cry. This is absolutely awful. The zombies just keep spawning. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh wait, no. This is where my house is, because the pillager outhouse is- fuck. Oh no. Oh no, this is not good. Okay. You need to go away, sir. Do not shoot me. Thank you for not shooting me. You tried. You really thought. I hope the fuck you do. You be a dead ass motherfucker. I'll tell you that. Okay, we just need to find my staircase and go home. I just want to go home. Editor, editor me. You, you better, you better have just skipped to when I was at home. You did, right? You made me look super awesome and brave, and not like a pussy, right? Because I'm home now. So you, you, you made me look nice, right? Right? You did. Right? Okay. Well. I'm home. Ha, yeah, look at that. That was so easy. I, wow. Found so many shipwrecks and just totally killed every monster that I came across. I was a total badass. I mean, I wish you could have seen me, but like, you know, movie magic. I gotta cut it out because, you know, otherwise the video would be too long. And, uh. Yeah, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I didn't really do a lot. I found a geode, though, which was absolutely incredible. I made some plans for the village, found a single shipwreck, and made my first diamond pickaxe. Pretty, pretty eventful, but also pretty uneventful. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and... If you did, maybe share the video with a friend as well. Try to help me grow my channel. If you didn't like the video, leave some feedback and I will get to you as soon as possible. Which means I probably won't, but if you're just giving me helpful criticism, then I will actually pay attention to you. No hate comments, okay? Yes, I'm a white girl who enjoys Minecraft and sugary coffees. I don't go to Starbucks, though. I'm not that white. But yeah. That is about it for me. I will see you in the next one. Bye!